Tesla Motors. Represent competition, competition, competition. It's not as powerful as cooperation, that's for sure. If you cooperate with someone, if you cooperate with a, with a team or a group or a partner or a community, you're going to get a lot further ahead, you're going to get a lot more accomplished than if you were to compete with a partner or uh, compete with someone or compete with a competitive community or compete with another team. Because uh, competition, you're kind of always trying to beat the person. To beat the person, you gotta, you gotta knock them down. Uh, boxing is the only sport, is the only competition where the aim is to hurt the other person. Think about that. Boxing and UFC are the, they're the only two sports where the aim is to hurt the other person. All the other sports, you're just trying to beat them. You're trying to get more points than them. But with most competition, the mentality is, I need you to lose. I want you to lose. In fact, I want you to screw up. I want you to f up. I want you to. I kind of want to get. I kind of want you to be injured. I kind of want you to uh, get sick and, and and not be able to perform well. I need you to be sucking for me to win. I need you to not do as well as you could do for me to win. That's that's comp this competition mindset. It's a competitive mindset. For someone else to win, someone needs to lose. Whether whether you're getting second place or third place or tenth place, whatever, um, you haven't really won. You haven't really won in the eyes of the winner and in the eyes of most of the people watching. Uh, of course, you can, you can have the inner you can have the inner um, the inner competition during a regular competition, which says like, "Wow, I came third place. I feel like I won. Like I in in my I, I ran my own race. I I won the race in my eyes. I came second place, but I actually won because I overcame these demons or whatever. I did better than ever before. I set a record. So even even among the big competition, you can have the inner competition as well. But still, it's um, all competition, whether it's a running race, swimming race, tennis match, ping pong match, baseball game, soccer game, hockey game, boxing. Uh, for someone to win, someone else needs to lose. And so, that's the mentality anyway, that's the mentality anyway. But the approach I take with triathlon is I pretend during a race, I pretend that everyone around me, all my competitors, are actually my teammates. And when the gun goes off, we're all doing this crazy workout together or we're all going to see how well we can do together. So I don't take the approach anymore that I need to beat this guy and I need to beat this guy and I don't want to lose to that guy and you know, I, need, I, I hope that guy gets injured. I don't take that approach anymore. I now take the approach, I want everyone to do as well as they can. Let's do this together type mentality. Let's do this together and we'll see how hard and fast we can push each other. And then near the finish line, when, when we're all hurting, and near the end of the race, whatever, when we get off the bike and we're starting the run, I take the attitude that I'm the captain of this team, I'm the leader of this team, and I need to show them how it's done. So I'll take the lead. Thanks, boys. I'll take the lead from here. Just stand back. I used to take the approach though, where it's like I need to beat this guy from start to finish. Like I need to try to stay ahead of him. I'm trying to compete with him. I gotta outwit him. But uh, I don't take that approach anymore. It it didn't serve me. It didn't serve me. I had a race last year where I got off the bike. Um, I think I got off the bike in third, ran into first place, and with about a kilometer to go, a uh, guy caught up to me, and the whole time I was running scared, I was running scared, I was running scared, I was in front, first place, and the, I knew a guy was coming up behind me, I was like scared, 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 and when you get scared, you get weak. When you think someone is catching you, when you're, when you're about to get eaten by a tiger, you get weak, but when you're chasing something, it's much easier to feel strength, it's much easier to be on the hunt and want to kill something than to feel like you're about to get killed. Because if you want to kill something, you don't have as much to lose. But if you're about to get killed, you got your life to lose, and it just it it, it, it weakens you. Your legs your legs start to your legs start to shake, and you're, you get nervous, and you're like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna die, and you get weak. Um, but if someone's in front of you, it's much easier to catch them because you think like, oh, I'm gonna get this prize. There's a prize. There's a carrot in front of it, the donkey, carrot in front of the horse. Carrot right here. Carrot mentality. You just go for it. There's a prize. There's a reward. Um, target is in sight. 
So uh, anyways, this guy caught me and we were like neck and neck now and we were pushing and pushing and pushing and my mentality at the time was like, I need to beat this guy but he caught up to me so maybe he deserves to win. And uh, we were pushing and pushing and I was like, you know what, I don't, I don't want to push anymore. Like if, if he wants it this bad, he can take it, like I don't even care. That was the mentality I had and he passed me and he beat me by like three sec or two seconds. But two seconds, doesn't sound like much on paper, but two seconds is quite a bit. It's like he crosses the line, and it's like one, two. So it's quite a big gap, two seconds. But uh, I don't take that approach anymore. I now take the approach that I'm the captain of the team, I'm the leader of the team, and we're doing this together. But um, I'm gonna set the example and win, um, just to show them how it's done. So that's the uh, approach I take now. But there's also the mentality where people don't like competition because they're afraid they're gonna lose. And it, like, my mentality was I don't like competition because I don't like beating other people. I don't wanna be like the, the show off who, who wins, you know? But other people have the mentality of they're afraid of doing a competition because they're like, oh, what's the point? I'm just gonna lose anyway. That, uh, hmm. I've been to a few races where I've seen the last person cross the finish line. And honestly, the last person to cross the finish line, I bet enjoys the race more than anyone. They, they bring tears to my eyes, honestly, when I'm watching them. I know they bring tears to, to many other people's eyes as well. If you just go on YouTube, type in uh, last Ironman finisher, you'll, you'll probably be brought to tears. It's a very emotional thing seeing the last person come across the line. And not because it's sad, but because it's happy as hell. When you're the last person to cross the finish line, everybody's rooting for you. You got the whole... You, obviously, if you're in last place, you're not even competing for first or second or third anyway. So that's totally like, don't worry, we weren't expecting you to win anyway, and you probably weren't expecting yourself to win. You just want to finish, you just want to do as well as you can do. And if doing as well as you can do ends up getting you last place overall, nobody cares. No difference if, honestly, in ranking, if you're last place or second to last or third to last. Um, I, I have a buddy I raced with last year a few races and he honestly came like third to last on one of the races and the guy loves triathlon. He, he'll fly up, we flew to, across the country together to do a race and uh, yeah he was like second to last or third, third to last to, to finish the race and um, we had to wait for him and it took forever man, we missed our flight but uh, he, he loves triathlon, he loves it and the whole crowd is rooting for him man. There's a cleanup crew clean up the columns behind him and clean up all the garbage behind him as he's going and it's it's an amazing it's an amazing thing to come last place. But honestly, it's because all eyes are on you and you're just giving your best and you're not giving up. You're not giving up. So if you don't want to do a race because you're afraid to lose, or if you don't want to do a race because you you don't feel like beating other people, uh, just know that you can always change your your viewpoint. It's all perspective, really. Um, you know, you can take the viewpoint of, I'm, I'm here to win and you just want to beat everyone and uh, I personally don't have that kind of ego. I have the ego where it's like, I just want to lead and set, set an example of how fit and healthy you can be on a, on a uh, fruit diet. So I'm, I'm just there to represent, I'm just there to represent and see what this body can do and um, I pretend like we're all in it together, we're all pushing together. So. That, that's my word on competition, and I hope to see you guys all at the Thai Fruit Fest 2015 because there we're going to be doing a fun triathlon. We're going to swim in the 50 meter pool, hop out right around the velodrome, and get out of the velodrome and run around the track for a 5k. So it'll be a short, it'll be a short triathlon. Uh, we're going to spend half hour in the pool, spend 45 minutes in the velodrome, and then get out and run 5k as fast as we can. So it'll be good times. Um, shouldn't be more than a dozen people doing the race, I don't think. It's not even a race, it's just a workout. But it'll take place at the 700 Stadium in Chiang Mai. So we'll see you there. I think I set the event on Facebook for June 7th. Peace.